Hello my besties, before we start, let's open our Bible, James 4, 13 to 16. This is our word of the day. So now listen, you who say today or tomorrow, we will go to this or that city, spend a year there, carry on business and make money. Why do you not even know what will happen tomorrow? What is your life? You are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, If it is the Lord's will, we will live and do this or that. As it is, you boast and brag. All such boasting is evil. Alright, my besties. Before we start, okay? Please follow all my tias, my family, honestmail.com. They're all amazing singers. The DC character. It's about Bat Girl. So, please, best is not to be confused with Bat Woman. Another DC Comics super her heroine, okay, with a similar, similar name. So, my best is Bat Girl, okay, is an American comic strip super hero created for dc comics okay bye here you go my best this is for this is our primer gucci promo by writer gardner fox and artist okay carmen and fan remember the last time we use uh because i don't have eyeglasses okay and i accidentally opened the Gucci foundation instead of the primer. <laughs> All right, so charge to experience. So, Bat Girl, as this appears, Bat Girl first appeared in Detective Comics number three fifty nine. Okay, that that was in nineteen sixty seven. Oh, that was a long, long time ago. So you see, Bat Girl is an unreleased. They canceled the Bat Girl. So, this is the unreleased American superhero you know, film based on the DC Comics character. Okay, so for our foundation, this is the Valentino Foundation. This is based on DC Comics character Barbara Gordon or Bat Girl, which is produced by Burr okay, Productions. So let's, let's make sure that they blend it like you apply it really good evenly all right so and also dc films for the streaming service okay hbo max all right that's this so make sure you go apply it evenly so it was intended okay to be an installment in the dc extended universe so in short dceu so the film was created okay by the film was was directed by adele lrb and bilal Fala from a screenplay by Christina Hudson. Alright. Alright, that's it. And it starred Leslie Grace as Bat Girl. Alright, best this. See that? I was cooking and look. I was frying, I mean, so the oil hit my lip so also my best is alongside j k simons jacob is cpu okay or cpu brandon fraser and michael keaton all right so let's add our contour so development of bat, bat girl okay feature film began okay began with Joss Whedon 
in March 2017. But he left the project a year later. He left the project a year later. So Hudson was hired okay, to write a new script in April of 2018. So this, okay, I'm gonna contour our face. So that bestie with LRB, okay, and Fala hired to direct in May 2021 when the film was confirmed as an HBO Max original. Okay, so let's add our contour look. So Grace was cast that July and filming took place in Glasgow, Scotland. Mm. That was from November 21 to March 22. So in August 2022, right. DC Films and HBO Max parent Warner Brothers. Okay, Discovery announced that. So, my best is Discovery announced that. Okay, so while the film had entered post production, okay, this one, I have to make sure we. Contour our jaw. jaw. Alright. The studio, okay, no longer plan to release Batgirl due to the company's, you know, cost-cutting measures. So they didn't release Batgirl. And they focus on, like, theatrical releases. Mm. So in August 2022, my besties, Warner Brothers, okay, Discovery WBD announced that it no longer planned to release Batgirl on HBO Max or theatrically. So, you know. Despite this, despite a previously scheduled 2022 release. You know. So, the rap, okay, reported that WBD felt the film simply did not work. It simply did not work. So, they didn't release, but... Okay, and went against the new desire and mandate from CEO David Zaslov to make these films, okay, big theatrical event films. So, I am, they didn't release, but uh, well, that's why we're just gonna do a vlog for Bad Girl. <laughs> all right all right that's it so that's what we are going to do just make sure we kind of like have a, a thin face okay all right so you know you know best is the guardian okay reported okay that this put Bad Girl amongst the most, most expensive cancelled cinematic projects ever. If I were them, I just, I just release it, you know. Since you already like spent all that money, come on, come on. If that was me, I just gotta release it. So Collider, Rolling Stone, okay. And Reuters wrote that test screening responses were negative. 
which could have been a factor in WBD's decision. So screening responses was negative. That was a sad, sad decision. Ever. Most expensive too. Alright, so Collider Source has described the film as a huge disappointment. So that's what they said. It was a huge disappointment. It was a huge disappointment. Wow. That's sad. So the Rolling Stone said that WBD determined that spending an additional 7 to 9 million during the post production in the effort to bring Bad Girl okay, to the level of other theatrical DC films such as you know the you know the Shazam like that Theory of the Gods. The fury of the gods, you know, would be fruitless. However, Variety denied that the film's quality, okay, factored into that decision. So the quality is not really good. That's what they were saying. So reaffirming, okay, along with the Hollywood reporter and deadline, okay, Hollywood, okay, that it was part of the studio's larger cost-cutting measures. Sad, really sad. <sighs> so, given the budget, okay, increased from an initial 70 million to 90 million. Wow, that's a lot of money. And also the desire for DC films to be theatrical, okay? Blockbusters. Like what I said, this video is not complete without this refreshing diet Pepsi. Cheers. <laughs> so my best is Deadline noted that test screenings, okay? showed temporary versions okay of the visual effects there was a temporary versions of the visual effects okay which tend to temper audience enthusiasm all right that's this okay so a subsequent variety report indicated that the WBD okay, had concluded that writing off a bad girl okay, for a tax break would be the most, most financially sound. So that's what they did. Tax break. <sighs> it's a way of recouping okay, its cost. Okay, so instead of moving forward with the film, okay, to a theatrical release, like the Wonder Woman, Superman, like that, you know, with additional investment. So, yeah. So, releasing it on HBO. So this is the certified. I'm using Murphy Jacqueline Hill. This is the palette volume two. All right. So they also reported that the filmmakers had been told, okay, that WBD specifically wanted to take advantage okay, of purchasing accounting. Number. So bad. They didn't release my girl. 
So related to the Warner Media Discovery merger, okay, and also the related strategy changes. So this is the yellow. Okay. That had to be invoked by mid-August. The best is Hamada was not co consulted regarding the decision making and only learned okay about it when best is when Warner Brothers picture you know the Warner Warner Brothers pictures group co chairpersons okay and the CEOs Michael De Luca and Pam Abdi, okay, informed him. Not a test is coming. That was for the screening for Black Adam. They need to release that. I want to see it. <laughs> so, uh, so Hamada was upset and considered resigning. That's what happened. But agreed to stay at least okay until Black Adam's release. So that's what happened. This things. Who among you watch Black Adam? I like it. Black Adam. I watch that one. It's really nice. You should watch it, besties. So the cast and crew did not learn of the hour uh, of the cancellation until after the New York Post broke. Okay. The story on August two. We need something like. Like Shazam, right here. Black and yellow. Black and yellow. So LRB and Fala were in Morocco for LRB's wedding. Okay, when they were in Fala, I'm gonna use this dance party. Put it right here. So they released the statement, besties. Okay. They released a statement on August 3 that they were saddened and shocked. They were saddened and shocked. But thanked the cast and said they were grateful to have contributed to the DCEU film industry, okay, film industry figures. So, including Keaton, okay, Marvel Studios, President Kevin Fage, okay. Film directors Edgar Wright and James Gunn. <sighs> there was a lot of like drama, huh? Oh gosh. That's why it's so hard to be rich. <laughs> Too complicated. You know. So they reach out to LRB and follow to express. So following the announcement, okay, my besties, of the said cancellation, LRB and Fala, okay, attempted to log into the Warner Brothers servers to capture some of the footage of their cell phones, but they were unable to. They were trying to hack it. Okay, so Warner Brothers 
did set up some secret screenings of the unfinished film on its lot. Okay, exclusive to cast and crew who had worked on the film. So along with the representatives and company executives. Oof. All right, let's see. So in January 2023, DC Studios co-head Peter Safran said the film was not releasable. They said they can't release but girl can't be releasable as it would not have been able to compete in the theatrical marketplace. So that's what happened. I'm still, I, you know, why they didn't release it, you know, they put so much money on it. As they said it was built for the small screen case, okay, so though he praised the talents of the actors and crew. He added also that had it released, it would have hurt the DC brand and those involved. That's what they say. So the first teenage heroine to join Batman's extended family was Betty King. Okay, niece of the custom hero, but oh man. That's bad girl, okay. However, she was little more than romantic interest for Batman's sidekick, Batman's sidekick Robin. inspired by the declining ratings of Batman television okay series okay show creators okay I'm gonna use this temperamental as the black one black palette okay they sh uh, show creators propose the introduction of less formulae yeah like formula like formulaic uh, more like developed female character to draw new viewers okay so best is julius swartz the doctor of this is batman comics okay he embraced the suggestion and a new bot girl okay without the high pen Remember, it's just back and then high pen girl. So, that beauty in the detective comics. Okay. So, several months before her premiere on television. I'm just gonna run. The new bat girl was Barbara Gordon, the daughter of Gotham City Police Commissioner James Gordon. Okay, so her early appearances okay portrayed her as an inexperienced okay if enthusiastic okay crime fighter but the 1970s bad girl had matured okay displaying a keen intellect very very smart robust physique athleticism okay and burgeoning detective skills okay after winning a seat in the u.s congress okay gordon relocated to washington dc okay so 
although she still occasionally occasionally appeared as Batgirl as Batman comic book books grew okay Grimmer throughout the 1970s in the United 70s and 80s it was felt that Batgirl's existence okay we can the Batmans and Gordon hung up her cow so that's what She resurfaced okay, in Alan Moore's graphic novel Batman. And remember the killing joke? That was in 1988. Revisions to the DC Universe had made her the niece, not the daughter of Commissioner Gordon. So in that story, the Joker, Batman's most maniacal foe exacted revenge on his enemy by rampaging against those close to him so the joker shot gordon leaving her paraplegic some readers now at the time accused dc comics of miss Og like miss misogyny okay as his as this like brutal brutal attack on Batgirl okay followed the poignant but violent death okay of Supergirl in the DC crisis on infinite earths that that was in 1985 so in reality okay this tragic moment okay ushered in a new era for Gordon as a character so in suicide squad okay in 1989 she became oracle she became the behind the scenes crusader was development of a vast computer information network so along with her photographic memory okay and her uncanny hacking abilities this also enabled her to ferret out information to help other okay to help other heroes so in addition to aiding the suicide squad batman and others okay oracle ultimately joined with black canary okay so black canary and the huntress okay to form the birds of prey so that's what happened. So a new Batgirl was introduced in Batman number 567 in 1999. Gordon befriended a teenage girl, okay, who happened to be the daughter of a notorious assassin. Her name is Cassandra King. She had been expertly trained in martial arts and other modes of combat and you know she wished to break free okay of her violent heritage so the intervention of oracle and batman helped reshape kane's destiny so that's what happened okay and she assumed the mantle of that girl So Kane was briefly involved with the villainous League of Assassins. But you know, later it was later revealed that she had been drugged and under the mental control of the mercenary supervillain Deathstroke at that time. So in Batgirl number one, that's in 2009, Kane relinquish the bad girl identity to Stephanie Brown okay formerly the custom crime fighter known as the spoiler so subsequently besties in Grant Morrison's Batman 
Okebasi Incorporated series, Kane adapted the name Black Bat, Black Bat, to work as part of Batman's International Crime Fighting Network. So when the DC rebooted its entire superhero in 2011, okay, now Barbara Gordon no longer paralyzed, okay, returned to her custom identity in the new Bad Girl series. That's what happened. So besties, the first true comic books were marketed, okay, in 1933 as giveaway advertising premiums so by 1935 besties reprints of newspaper books strips okay with original stories were selling in super 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 massive or large quantities so during world war ii comics dealing with war and crime okay found many readers among soldiers stationed abroad in 1950s okay comic books were blamed for juvenile delinquency that's what happened so 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 besties let me do this okay let's now do this thing so though the industry industry okay responded okay with self-censorship now some adventure strips okay continue to be criticized so in 1960s okay comic books okay satirizing the cultural underworld became super popular especially among the college students so by the turn of the 21st century the japanese books the manga manga with their great great variation you know in content and effect they're really good had achieved the worldwide popularity manga okay and comic designs represented represented a like thriving subculture okay so comic books are used okay often used to deal with serious serious subjects so who is Batgirl in the DC comics so in fact this leads us to Batgirl okay because in the comics of that time the Batgirl introduced in 1961 was Batwoman's niece Betty Kane and she had a crush on Robin the Batman Phantom page for Batgirl notes okay that some experts believed that batwoman and batgirl were created to refute a speculation that batman and robin were gay <laughs> my gosh <laughs> really <laughs> so 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 <laughs> and batgirl batwoman these ver versions of batwoman and batgirl okay were not super long lived but in comics they are always rebirths okay and recreations okay and multiple timelines okay hmm. so both went through changes okay for instance there is also a character named betty kane okay who became a superhero named flame bird so some folks suspect kate kate's stepsister okay may become that superhero later on in the cw series all right let's see so the more recent version of batgirl is barbara gordon okay rather than being related to batwoman she's the daughter of the commissioner gordon like what i said so this batgirl is the genius level super genius she is a hacker and information broker broker and also expert expert in martial arts martial artist she's a martial artist so that's according to the dc universe okay barbara 
has also worked under the name Oracle. So there was also a bad girl, okay, named Stephanie Brown, who was the daughter of a villain named, excuse me, Clue Master. So another version of bad girl, Cassandra Kane, is particularly relevant right now, okay? Particularly relevant. So according to the Hollywood Reporter, Cassandra is ward of Barbara Gordon, who takes on the identity of the bad girl. So Cassandra will be in the upcoming Birds of Prey movie, but it's unclear yet how much the film will delve into the backstory, okay, of Cassandra and Barbara Gordon. So as you see, sometimes Batwoman, okay, and Batgirl are related and wooing like Batman and Robin together. And sometimes, buses they're entirely separate members of the Batman family. So the whole thing is pretty, pretty much confusing considering how iterations and, you know, the changes there have been. But really, hey, besties, at least besties, both of their storylines are much modern, modern these days. So, Bad Girl is the name of several superheroines appearing in American comic books published by DC Company. Okay, depicted as female counterparts. Okay, I'm gonna use this Murphy number two. It's called Always Online Gel. Counterparts and allies to the superhero Batman. Let's do this real quick. So although the character Betty Kane was introduced in a publication in 1961 by Bill Finger and also Sheldon Mardoff as Bat Hypen Girl. So she was replaced by Barbara Gordon in 1967, who later okay, came to be identified as the iconic Bat Girl. That's Barbara. Barbara. Gordon. So, character debuted in Detective Comics in Okay, so we're just gonna like draw the outline of the bat. Okay. So Bat Girl operates in Gotham City, allying herself with Batman and the original Robin, Dick Grayson. Okay. Along with other masked vigilantes. Okay. So the character reappeared regularly, my best days, in Detective Comics. Detective Comics. Alright. So Batman family. Okay, and several other books produced by DC until 1988. That year, as this Barbara Gordon appears in Barbara Castle's Bad Girl Special, in which she retires from crime fighting. So she subsequently appeared in Alan Moore's graphic novel, Batman, you know, The Killing Joke, where in her civilian identity, she is shot by the Joker, okay? and left paraplegic. So although she is reimagined as the computer expert and information broker oracle, you know, by editor Kim Yale and writer John Ostranger, 
the following year. So her paralysis sparked debate, okay, about the por portrayal of women in comics, particularly violence de depicted towards female characters. So in 1999, storyline No Man's Land, the character Helena Bertinelli, known as Huntress, okay, briefly assumes the role of bad girl until she is stripped of the identity by Batman by violating his stringent codes. So within the same storyline, okay, the character Kane or Cassandra Kane is introduced. So Kane is written as the daughter of assassins David Kane and Lady Shiva and takes the mantle okay, of Batgirl under the guidance of Batman, of course, and the Oracle. So in 2000, she became the Batgirl, first Batgirl, Batgirl to star in an eponymous monthly comic book series, okay? So in addition to becoming one of the most prominent characters of Asian descent, to appear in American comics. So the series was canceled in 2006, okay, which point during the company, you know, the storyline one year later, you know, she is established as a villain and head of the League of Assassins. So after receiving harsh, harsh, very harsh feedback from readership, okay, readership of the, the readers of the comics, she is later restored to her original conception. So however, the character Stephanie Brown, originally known as the Spoiler, and later Robin succeeds her as Batgirl after Cassandra Kane abandons the role. So Stephanie Brown became the featured character of the Batgirl series from 2009 to 11, 2011. So prior to the DC's new relaunch okay which is established barbara gordon recovering from her paralysis following a surgical surgical not surgical surgical procedure and starring as the <laughs> character of bad girl once again oh huh? besties so 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 my besties <clears throat> Oh, yeah. So, Barbara later returned to the Oracle role, role with Infinite Frontier in 2020 and currently operates as both Batgirl and Oracle there. So, that's what happened with these. So, with Cassandra and Stephanie also serving as Batgirls, Barbara Gordon version of Batgirl has been adapted into various media relating to Batman franchise, including television, films, video games, animations, you know, merch, merchandise. So Dan Didio, the, the co-publisher of DC Comics, okay, he expressed that Barbara is the best known version, best known version of the character. So Batgirl has officially been represented by four different characters and two claimants, okay? Beginning with her introduction in 1961, Betty Kane, okay? During the Silver Age, a female character was introduced as a love interest for Robin. So Batgirl, Betty Kane, was depicted as the niece of the Robin-like sidekick too, the original Batwoman. So in 1964, however, Editor Julius Schwartz asserted that Bat Girl and other characters in the Bat family should be removed considering the decline in sales of the merchandise like that and restore the Batman mythology, you know, to its original conception of heroic vigilantism. Mm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so let's just do that real quick. Alright. Mm -hmm. right. 
So during the crisis of Infinite Earths, Starland, that the king was retconned out of existence. Next person, Mary Elizabeth. Betty King is a reinverted version of the Betty King character during the Silver Age. So as her original characterization, okay. You know, he was retconned out of existence. So during the crisis of Infinite Earth's storyline, there was a discrepancy across Arrows. I mean, Ar Arrows, you know, where her bad girl character had joined West Coast version of the of the Teen Titans, but simply disappeared. That's why the character was reintroduced as Betty Kane and the alias of Flame Bird following Infinite Crisis. All right, so the character's past, okay, as Batgirl was hinted at as being a part of can continuity. So, however, this is. You know, the reference, okay, included a revamped of the original version of the character, okay, and and it may or may not have been like the current Betty came. All right. So Barbara Gordon. Mm. So during the run of Batman television series. DC editorial was approached about adding a female character back into the Batman family. Okay. Revising the character, history, and motivational status. Okay. Julius uh, Schwartz created Barbara Gordon. So this character held the role of Batgirl from 1967 to 88. So when she was retired by DC editorial decision. The character's role was changed to a paraplegic source of information of all the members of the, the Batman family and, you know, codenamed Oracle. And was later restored as Batgirl during the new relaunch of the entire DC publication in 2020. So besties, this was also the case with DC Rebirth in 2016 after the suicide of her psychopathic brother James Gordon Jr. So Barbara ponders her role as a bad girl, becomes the Oracle, and continues to support the Batman family behind the computer screen only. So with the option to occasionally return to the role of bad girl. So, above all, she takes on the role of mentor for Cassandra Kane and Stephanie Brown, who now share the title of Bad Girl. So, Cassandra Kane, during the No Man's Land storyline, Cassandra was given the role of Bad Girl under the guidance of Batman and Oracle. Written as the daughter of assassins David Kane in Lady Shiva, she is trained from early childhood to read human body language instead of developing written communication or verbal communication skills, okay, as part of her father's conditioning, okay, to mold her into the world's deadliest assassin. So best is, however, okay, after committing her first murder. She vows to never again use her martial, martial arts, you know, prowess to kill. So, in 2000, she became the first bad girl to star in an eponymous monthly like, comics book, as well as one of the most prominent characters of Asian descent to appear in American comics. So this series was cancelled in 2006 and Cassandra Kane abandoned the role of Batgirl shortly thereafter. So years later, Cassandra rejoined again the Batman family under the moniker the Bat Black Bat. Okay, Black Bat now. So in the new Cassandra, the Black Bat 
reappeared in the comic series Batman and Robin Eternal, okay, with a slightly different history. Here, she also was the murderer of Harper Rose's mother, an ally of Batman, so she called herself orphan for a while, okay, and became part of the Batman family as well as the outsiders. She later shares, okay, Batgirl with her friend Stephanie Brown. Right. Stephanie Brown. Stephanie Brown was formerly formerly known as the spoiler. And then as the first in continuity female Robin, okay, until her apparent death in 2006 so following her return in comics in 2009 she assumed the role of bad girl so she maintained in this position until 2011 the relaunch of the dc imprint under the new character okay reappeared in the dcu in batman as the spoiler so stephanie reappears in the series Batman Eternal where she again goes by a spoiler in an attempt to thwart her father's machinations so after DC rebirth she joined Batman's new team of vigilantes where she became the girlfriend of Tim Drake Ooh, Drake aka Red Robin before they break Mm. Wow. <laughs> so eventually, eventually, she shared the title, Bad Girl, with her friend, Cassandra Kane. Mm. Claimants, Helena Bertinelli, or also known as the Huntress. For a brief time, okay, during the 1990s, no man's land storyline helena assumed the man mantle of batgirl so after violating batman's code against extreme violence she was stripped excuse me of the mantle and returned to her alias of the huntress next claimant charlie gage radcliffe Okay. After Cassandra Kane abandoned the role, okay, a mystery character appeared as the new Bat Girl in the Birds of Prey comics, possessing super supernatural powers. And the teen claimed the empty mantle in an attempt to honor the character. So, however, this is Barbara Gordon quickly dissuaded the team from continuing in the role so charlie gage acquiesced 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 oh she left okay whatever but modified her costume and changed her name to the miss fit oh so she was the miss Right. The cocaine version of Bad Girl, okay, depicted as the biracial character, half white, half Chinese, is notable as one of the most prominent characters of Asian descent. So, appeared in American comic books. So, Jeffrey Brown states that while her ethnicity, ethnicity is rarely mentioned, okay, in the comic books asian women have had a long history in comics okay of being portrayed as martial artists and are often exploited as sex objects so however in the case of Beth, cassandra's racial identity is treated more implicitly than explicitly so her costume design actually conceals her entire body so that while in her guise as bad girl, her ethnicity is completely unapparent. So the fact that her 
sexuality is also understand and un understated okay it this one represents a shift away from the typical uh portrayals of women so asian women my besties in particular so the most controversial aspect of her character came about okay during the one year later event so when she is reintroduced as a villain the abrupt shift and her character brought about negative criticism from leadership so the question about the change in characterization so adam beachin said that they didn't present me with a rationale as to why cassandra was going to change or a motivating factor that was left for me to come with, up with you know them to approve so we did that that's what he said so as far as to why the editors and the writers are, and whoever else made the decision okay decided that was a good direction so honestly he couldn't answer that so Yvonne Craig as bad girl okay the character's first adaptation outside the comic books took place in the third season of Batman 1967 so Barbara Gordon, having been discussed months earlier by her father and Batman in the second season episodes, Batman's water, Lou and Duo defy Lay Daniels in Batman, the complete history book that the goal of ABC was to attract new audience viewers or members, especially idealistic young girls and less high-minded older men. So according to Craig, I used to think the reason they hired me was because they knew I could ride my own motorcycle. I realized they hired me because I had a cartoon voice. So I shared criticism of Batman. And other female female superheroes in television that came later, such as Wonder Woman, Bionic Woman, she, you know, she was not allowed to engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat on screen. So her fights were choreographed, choreographed, you know, choreographed carefully, okay, to imitate the moves of a Broadway show girl. Through the use of the straight kick to her opponent's face, straight kick, rather than the type of kick, you know, like a martial arts would be, or would use. So, yeah. So, however, as is claimed, has also stated, I meet young women who say, but, but girl, okay, was the role model, model. So, they say it's because it was the first time they ever felt girls could do the same things guys could do. And sometimes better. And I think that's, very lovely that's what she said so during the early 1970s craig portrayed bad girl once again in a public service announcement to advocate equal pay for women so the history of bad girl comics and beyond bad girl particularly particularly these days is kind of the forgotten bad person so of course she doesn't have the culture of like cachet of like Batman, you know. Has been on film, TV shows, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. And she's not talked about even as much as Batwoman either. Either who is going to be in on the infinite um Earth's crossover. And no but Bat woman, okay, is not bad girl. When she grows up there are two complete different characters okay it seems strange yeah but especially with the popularity of the bat mythos okay mythology of the bats and with the fact that she was once played by 90s icon alicia silverstone Ooh, i think i watched that before Oh, 
almost done, besties. Yeah. So my besties, the early history of bad girl, you know, one of the most egregious like offenders, according to Wortham, was Batman and his uncomfortable relationship with his wife Robin. So it was a kind of relationship that would later be spoofed by Saturday Night Live in its ambiguously gay duo shorts. But that was decades, you know, later. So in the 50s, DC just got Batman, a girlfriend. So in 1956, Kathy King made her debut as Batman's love interest and the original Batwoman. Five years later, in 1961, her niece Betty Kane, the original Batgirl, also showed up. So Batman comics then turned more towards 60s situation of family comedy, you know, with Bruce and Kathy as the bad, bad dad and Batman, respectively, and Robin and Betty as their kids. So they even had a bat dog, Ace the Bat Hound, and an imp called the Bat Mite. So the popularity of Batman comics went through in the early 60s to the point that DC almost killed him. So when Jules, Julius Schwartz became the Batman editor in 64, he reinvented the, the brand and the story by like scuttling the extraneous bat characters. Batman comics okay, went back to being about a rich crime fighter. As for Betty, as Batgirl, the Crisis on Infinite Earths storyline in 1985 retconned her into non-existence. So Betty Kane herself didn't disappear. You know, so a twist on the original character, the character Mary Elizabeth or Betty Kane is one of the women who has taken on the flame bird mantle. There you go, my besties. Let's finish this. <laughs> Do I have to make it thicker? Hmm. Okay then, let's do this. Okay. We just have the like ah uh, the concealer. I mean the highlighter. Highlighter, okay. And also here. And a little bit here. Highlighter. There you go. There should be a highlight on it. There you go. I love it. Alright then. Let's add our... Even we, even we are like but girl, we should have a glam face. Should look glam. Alright, so let's add 
blush. There you go. Wow. Now, now, the fun part. Let's add our lipstick. Mm -hmm. Lipstick. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so. You know, I don't have a black lip liner, so I'm gonna use this LA Girl Brow SD. I'm just gonna. Tell me this no more. Whoa. The GPS place, I don't know if they put my goodness. Alright. Let's see. So that's the GPS place. Lipstick. Now I'm gonna add this Jeffree Star it's called Watermelon feels like heaven alright so I'm just gonna add my lashes and then I will reveal to you the final final <laughs> make up look all right see y'all later love you all my fam i'll see you in how many seconds love you god bless all right my bestie so this is the final makeup look if you like this video please don't forget to hit the like button share and comment below i will see you all next time god bless you all
Thank you.